Hello everyone, I'm Yuta Akiyama. This time I will introduce how to create a high quality deepfake video with stable diffusion. I introduced the face swap technique called loop before, but I'm going to use the expansion function called reactor, which is in the position of the improved version. In addition, the video itself uses the expansion function called move to move, so I will also introduce how to download the expansion function. Let's get started. First of all, I'm going to download the move to move and reactor expansion functions. In this video, I will take advantage of how to launch stable diffusion, so if you are new to it, please check out the past videos listed in the summary column. When the top screen of stable diffusion opens, click on the tab called extensions. I'm going to download move to move and reactor from this install from URL. First of all, I'm going to install move to move. Please use the link in the summary column. Please copy and paste it to this input. Click install. Installation has just been completed. To briefly explain the expansion function of move to move, it is a function that converts the original video into an image for each frame and creates a new video by connecting the images. In short, when creating an AI image, it is like making a video by attaching the text to the image created for each frame of the video at the end. Now that the installation is complete, I'm going to restart it. The way to restart is to click the play button again. Restarting has just been completed. Once the restart is complete and the tab called move to move appears on the top screen, the installation is complete. Next, I'm going to install the SD Web Reactor, which is the expansion function of face swap in the same procedure. There is a link in the summary column, so please copy and paste it. In the same procedure, go to extensions and click install. Installation has just been completed. Let's restart this as well. After restarting Stable Diffusion, click Move to Move and scroll down to see the word Reactor. If you have this, the installation is complete. Now I'm going to create the video I've been waiting for. First, click the Move to Move tab. The model I'm going to use this time is Beautiful Realistic, which is good at creating Asian-style visuals. I haven't tried any other models, but I think any model that creates reality is fine. I'm going to set this prompt run to blank. Next, I'm going to upload the original video before changing the face to generation. Upload has been completed. If you go to the bottom of this, there is a sampling method, so please change it to your favorite sampling method. This time, I'm going to set the default DPM plus plus 2M Crow. I'm going to keep this sampling steps as default at 20. Next, I'd like you to modify the width and height at resize. This time, I'd like you to change it to the same size as the original video, so please click on the triangle. By clicking here, the size of this video will be automatically reflected. Next, I'd like you to change the denoising strength. The closer you get to zero, the more faithfully you can reproduce the original video. At once, you'll get something that tastes different from the original video. This time, I'm just going to change the face with the reactor, so I'm going to set it to zero. You don't have to set the seed value here. I'm not going to use this control net this time, so please ignore it. Please click on the reactor. First of all, I'm going to upload the image of the face I want to change to this single source image. The upload is complete. This girl is also an AI beauty created by Beautiful Realistic. Next, please check this enable to use this reactor. I'm going to use this as default. To put it simply, gender detection is a feature that identifies gender in the reactor. It's a setting that identifies gender and changes the face. This lister face is a feature that returns the generated image to a more natural state by face swap. This code former is a restoration model that keeps the structure of the image and cleanses the blurry image. 
This GFP gun seems to be a model that corrects it when the face is broken. It seems that it depends on the situation, but this time I'm going to use a code former that corrects it when the face is blurred. This code former weight seems to be reflected as strongly as zero, so I'm going to adjust it to zero. Now that the settings are complete, click generate. Click generate here to start processing. You can check the progress in Google Collaboration. Let's wait until this progress is 100%. Processing is complete. Let's take a look at the processing results. Here it is. It's very accurate, isn't it? I think that the face has been replaced with a beautiful face without any face collapse. You can download it from this screen. As a storage point for this video, please move to this My Drive and click on this SD. Next, click on the Stable Diffusion Web UI. Click on Outputs from this screen. Click on the Move to Move video. You can download it from here. How was today's video? If you use Reactor and Move to Move, you can easily create high quality deepfake videos. You can also generate text to image images, not just move to move. If you are interested, why don't you try generating images? If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments. See you in the next video. Goodbye.